Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Let's Go Pikachu. Last episode, we came to Saffron City. We fully explored it, we got the TM for Psychic, we got the TM for Substitute, and we took on the Fighting Dojo, which we won, and we got to choose between a Hitmonlee and a Hitmonchan, and we picked Hitmonlee. Now we're going to go into Silphco to stop Team Rocket from taking it over and doing some bad things. Alright, Silphco. Let's go get that Pokeball. Oh, okay. You there. Hello. What can I do for you? I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now. A real disaster. This is no place for kids. Not when there are so many dangerous people around. Ah, oh, maybe such a stick in the mud. You won't even let us have a little look around? Oh my god, Blue- Oh, and our rival. Oh, dude, it's so cool that Blue's here. Oh, you're- Blue. The Blue. <laughs> Faulty, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? Well... Team Rocket. No surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. You and me are on the same wavelength, Hayden. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. That's right. Come on, it's time we did a little strategy planning. So in short, the plan is, Faulty is going to drive Team Rocket out of Silphco, just like he planned. But it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so Hayden is going with him. Right. While you pipsqueaks do that, I'm going to do a loop around all of Kanto. Squishing out Team Rocket wherever I find them. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding. And while I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the bigwigs there what's going on. Awesome! Do you think the Elite Four might come and help us? Maybe. So that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and put it into action. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we've got to do here first. Faulty Hayden, if you want me to leave this place up to you two, newbies, then prove that you're up to the task. <gasps> Are we going to battle them now? What? I don't care who goes first. So, show me what you've got. Oh, I'm only got a battle blue now. Alright, I'm ready. So you're my first challenger, huh, Voltsy? Indeed I am. That's what I like to hear. Here I go. Oh my god, we're battling blue right now. Oh, this is so awesome. I'm kind of happy blue plays a bit of a story in this game, not just, um, you know, oh, here's blue at the end of the game, you can battle him for just nostalgia's sake, like in uh, Sun and Moon. Oh, this is so awesome. Alright, so, uh... Psychic, Psychic Grass versus a Water Fighting. I think we should definitely switch out. 100%. Uh, let's go into... Arcanine. Alright, let's hope we go for a Grass-type move. Okay, we're good, we're good. Alright, time for a flamethrower. Nice. There's gotta be a battle after the um, the main story in the post game against Blue where he's got like his full team of six. 100 percent And that is what I'm looking forward to. And this is still awesome, really awesome. Alright. One down, one more to go. Oh, nine tails 37, sweet. And Charizard, okay. Uh, let's go into... Let's go to Poliwrath. Should Ice Beam the Charizard? Just like in the anime, freeze that bad boy up. Who is smart, we're gonna get for Scold. Plus we don't even have Ice Beam, so... <laughs> oh, Charizard looks so cool. Alright, let's Scold that bad boy. Oh, Air Slash is gonna hurt. Oof. And you flinched me? Okay. That ain't cool, Charizard. That ain't cool. You have to go to Pikachu. And after this, I might have to quickly leave and heal up, unless Blue wants to heal us up. That would be pretty awesome. Okay, eat that air slash up, dude. Right. Zippy zap. Charles, I didn't stand a chance. My Pikachu is way too strong. Alright, Polyrath level 39. Sweet. Exactly what I'd expect from a Pallet Town trainer. Sweet. Oh man, so you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, Hayden. Come at me, I'm just getting warmed up. Are we healed up, or are we still very weak? 
Yeah, we're weak. Okay. So let's quickly get Arcanine out so we can ride on him. It'll be a lot faster to get back to the Pokemon Center. This is a really cool, like, design fountain. Let's make sure there's, like, no items in the corner or anything like that before we leave. Don't want to miss anything. That receptionist is probably thinking, um, boys, can you not battle in my lobby? Because, you know, one, it's dangerous, you might break something. Two, Team Rocket are here, just taking over the place. And three, why am I still sitting here? <laughs> she should probably leave. Alright, let's get fully healed, then we'll go back in. Go take on Team Rocket, go take on Giovanni, go take on probably Archer. Well, we know Archer should be here, because uh, Giovanni was like, yo, Archer, you should um, go carry out your plans. The weird thing is though, it kind of seems like this game makes it seem like Archer is more of the, the mastermind because he came up with the proposal to Giovanni about the uh, Sylph Co. And he brought him the Sylph Scope. And Giovanni's just like, yeah, good, good idea. <laughs> Something of that meme is like, you made this? I made this. And Giovanni's like, this is your plan? Hmm, this is my plan now. <laughs> Alright, let's start making our way up. Usually Sylph Co. is uh, kind of annoying, but yeah, we're a little polyrath. Hopefully a lot of these trainers have that like normal Rattata or that uh, poison type Pokemon. We can just Psychic and Brick Brick everything. If they have Golbat, then that ain't going to be fun. Watch this first Pokemon be a Golbat. Okay, right, okay, fine. That's good. All right, let's go polyrath. Gonna Brick Brick this bad boy. Oh, Sucker Punch, okay. Oof. Nice. Alright. Gotta love that boosted XP, man. Anything else around here? Yo, what's up? It's off limits here. Go home. Oh, I thought you were like a trapped employee or something. I didn't realize you were part of Team Rocket. Okay. Scientist Jerry. Dude, those glasses look way too big for your face. <laughs> Alright, I like to buzz. Yeah, we should definitely switch out here. Not a good matchup. It's level 35, so... Uh, I think a Ninetales can probably handle this. I didn't want to go into Dragonair, but... I think Dragonair's just a little bit too weak at the moment. A few more levels and we'll be fine. On the bolt. Okay, we good. And we're going to go for a... I should probably really go for Dazzling Gleam instead of Ice Beam. Just so I can get the flinch here. No flinch, okay. Right, Ice Beam! Oh, that's much better. Much better. Right. Perhaps you gone us as any Pokemon, wasn't it? So Hey, 41. Nice one, Pearl. You're good. Thank you. Oh, I broke his glasses somehow. My bad, dude. But right here we have an X attack. Awesome, what's this? Is that oh it's a teleport, isn't it? Oh wow, the teleport looks so much better. Oh, dude, that looks really cool. I dig that. But I want to quickly go back so I can um, go and explore a little bit more on this floor. Might miss an item or two. You never know. There's definitely a grunt we can battle. And there's locked doors. And yeah, missed this. Is that a door there we can go through? No. Probably just like a cupboard or something. Yo, what's up, dude? Am I in the way of the TV? No kids are allowed in here. <laughs> Can you just imagine, like, just being a grunt just staring at a TV? It's not even on. He does know he can turn a TV on, right? <laughs> I would hope so. Alright, let's go for that psychic here. Should easily be able to take out coughing. Nice.
Alright, another coffin. Cool, if you have three coffins, that's just an easy XP there. Alright, another one bites the dust. And your third Pokemon, is it another coffin? Please be another coffin. And it is! Three coffins! That triple cough. That's an easy XP. Go say, I'm, I'm really digging my team in this game at the moment. I love it. <laughs> Pikachu's really good, Polyraph's awesome. Haven't used Meltan yet, but we will at some point. I think Meltan could be really good against Lorelei in the Elite Four, so we just kind of save it for there. We terrible against Giovanni and um, Blaine, but still got Sabrina. If he's strong enough then, we can we can use him. If not, it's fine. Yo, what's up, dude? This is as far as y'all go. Okay. I'm ready, dude. Alright, two Pokemon, Ghastly, cool. As long as we don't have Golbat, we are all good. Well, uh, Zubat we can probably get away with, it's just the Golbat I think would just end up giving us a bit of trouble against Polyrath. Although we could Psychic Golbat, I mean, I know it's super effective, it's just if the Golbat gets off like an Air Slash or a Wing Attack, it could do, could do some damage. I'm pretty sure I've got some Elixirs or Ethers that can just restore some PP for Psychic, so we should be fine. A Persian? Ooh! You know, I'm kind of surprised that Giovanni isn't the sort of person that says like, you know, I have a Persian. So that means that none of you can have a Persian. You can have Meowths, but you can't have a Persian. Well, I guess you can't really stop a... Well, you can't stop a Pokemon from evolving. I mean, Everstone or something, but... I kind of feel like Giovanni would be the sort of person, you know, that would, you'd get fired or demoted for having the same Pokemon as him. <laughs> Alright, let's continue going through. Alright, there's another teleporter there. We'll go jump on that in a little bit. We'll go see what we can find in this room. Ooh. Pokeball's more important than this guy's uh, safety, clearly. <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? Look at that picture real quick. That looks like... To me, the picture looks like the... I don't know what it's called. The, the ruins in Gen 4 and Sinnoh when you go up to get Dialga or Polky or like where Giratina takes you to the Distortion World. Is that the ruin? Oh, no. It could be the ruins... Sun and Moon. No. I want to say Sinnoh ruins more. Anyway, Sinnoh has been taken over. Guess this is the end for us. Yep. We're all doomed. See ya, dude. <laughs> Sup, lady? I'm one of the rocket, four rocket sisters. Okay, so there's four sisters to beat. I can do this. Oh, Grimer. Perfect. Alright, let's go for that Psychic. You ain't gonna stand a chance. Oh, so close to 40. Another coffin, great. Might start, might start saving uh, Ninetales' HP ready for like Giovanni, because if he brings them ground types out, then we can just Ice Beam everything, we'll be fine. And we can just keep using Polyrath here with Psychic and all these poison types, and we're gonna blaze through, uh, blaze through Sylphco. Sweet. Sis, no! Don't give me a timeout! Where is your sister? How did she give you a timeout? How did she know you lost? Wait. Yeah, don't wanna go up there just yet, or down. Gonna go back, and we'll go through, we've got a teleporter there, a teleporter here. Oh, the teleporters are so cool. And got more rooms to explore. Wait, have we been through here? Yeah. So this is the start. So this teleporter takes us back this way. So we want to go through, to, through the teleporter that was in between the, this one and the first one. So this one right here. Where does this take us? Okay, new room. Sup? You're causing us problems. I ain't done anything. I let you just walk through a few places. You're the one stopping me. Technically, I haven't stopped anything. 
Alright, Electrode, okay. Gonna have to switch out. This is one Pokemon we can't really deal with. Can try, but I don't really want to risk it. Just go into Arcanine and we'll just flamethrower it and everything will be fine. Reflect, okay, that's, that's fine. We're going for special attack, so it's all good. As long as you don't step a light screen next, we can be friends. Sonic Boom, okay, that's, that's good. I did that guaranteed 20 damage over something that could potentially do a lot more. Another Sonic Boom, yeah, it's all good. I don't mind. Okay, and your last Pokemon. If it's a uh, Magnemite, I might go back into Polyrath. Oh, Por oh, Porygon, yeah, still go into Polyrath. Awesome. Because if it's a Magnemite, I might risk trying to go for a Brick Break. If it's a Magneton, I wouldn't do it, but Porygon's just as good. Just as good. Alright, let's get that Brick Break going. Whew, breaks that Reflect as well. Gotta love Brick Break, man. Huh, I lost? How do you break your glasses? That's what I wanna know. Gotta revive, cool. Anything with these machines? Can't interact with them. So it's not this way. Oh wait, can we go a different way from it? No, this was a dead end, wasn't it? Yeah, so... I guess we just walk up to another floor then? It's anything I can think of right now. There was no teleporter here, was there? No. It's been so long since I've been, you know, gone through Sylph I just cannot remember how to do this place. Not too hard though, just pretty much explore every floor and you end up finding the right switch. Oh. Sup dude, always an item there. Free Ultra Balls. I dig it. Sup my good man. Your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. If you're electric type, then yeah, you definitely can. <laughs> Weezing? Oh, perfect. That's gonna give us some good XP. Alright. Psychic. Got 5 PP left. Should take out the Weezing. And then you've got 2 Pokemon left if you want to have a normal... Oh, wow, you lived that? It's fine, I'll finish off with Scold, though. Save some PP for Psychic. Don't want to waste all of it now. Ow. Okay. Scold! Oh, protect- You're really gonna toxic protect me? Have I not suffered enough from Koga's gym? Ah, oh, dude. I suffered so much in Koga's gym and you're gonna be doing it to me now? You, sir. I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. Give a switch out. Oh, critical hit. Thanks, Weezing. Not Weezing, um, Polyrath. That critical hit definitely helps when you have, like, one HP left. Oh, dude, okay, we got to switch out because that poison is going to end up doing so much more damage. And you're bringing out Electrode as well, so it's definitely a good idea. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Man, I love Arcanine. So good. Alright, well, let's go for that flame for a while. Oof, okay. One more will do. Please don't self-destruct or anything like that. That would suck. Thunderbolt. Oh, it's going to hurt so much. Oh, we just lived. I honestly thought I'd do a little bit more than that. Alright, last Pokemon. What are you going to give me? Electabuzz. Okay. Not what I was hoping for, but... I'll have to do. Can't wait to find a healing station. That is going to be nice. 
Oh wow, I did not think Flamethrower would take it out in one hit, but... I do not give some of my Pokemon enough credit. They are actually pretty powerful. Alright, let's pick up these balls. I'm guessing that's another, another Rocket Sister right there. Which we can get to, but... Don't want to go that way just yet. Alright, where does this take us? Okay. Ooh, very narrow path. Got a nugget! Do you want to battle me? There's a Porygon there. Do we can get a free Porygon? That'd be great. Do you think we still get free Lapras in this game? Because I'm pretty sure on the Silph Code you get a free Lapras, right? I'm, I'm like 99% 90, 90, sure you get a free Lapras in this game. Well, in, you know, red, blue, yellow. Whether or not they... Oh, I should have really healed up. Do after this battle. Need to rem rem remind myself. Yeah, pretty sure. I was say, how do you get Porygon in, in the game before? And the only thing I remember is the game corner in red, blue, and yellow. You could get Porygon, Cypher, Dratini, and I think an Abra. I think those are the four Pokemon you could get. But I'm not sure if... Uh, maybe Mr. Mime was in there as well, but I'm pretty sure Porygon, the only way to get it was there. But again, I could be wrong. It has been a long time. Well, it's been about what, two years since I last played Generation 1, but actually collecting Pokemon, it's been like 20 years. <laughs> Alright, Psychic. Boom. Right, give me that sweet, sweet XP, please. Oh man, we are so close. Polyrath is getting them levels today. Love it. Right. Bag. Uh, medicine pocket. We need to go. Get rid of that poison. Potion up. And I should have bought some more supplies, but I totally forgot. That's my bad, but I won't fully heal. There should be a bed soon we can go rest in. I ain't going to be for a little bit longer. Got a little more battles to do. Ooh, people talking up there. I heard a kid was wandering around. And that would be me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm picturing right now Blue and uh, our rivals battle just going on like, for the whole time we're exploring Silph Co. They're like, okay. And the winner is Blue. And I come down like, yo, I, I beat Team Rocket. Giovanni's in handcuffs. What took you so long? Oh, that'd be great. Okay, I've got one PP left. I'm going to save it in case you have Arbok next. We'll just go for Scold. But still takes you out in one hit. Nice. And we should hit 41. Man, my Polyrath too good. Oh, Hypno. Okay. Keep battling. Kill that Hypno. Ah, I need two more Scolds. It's good you don't outspeed me, because if you flinched me, I would be very mad. Don't like getting flinched. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Oh, no burn. Oh, you poisoned me? Come on, I'm running low on, like, full heals and stuff. I cannot keep getting poisoned. So annoying. Alright, Scold to finish it off. Goodbye, Hypno. Okay. Shucks. Shucks to be you. <laughs> right, let's uh, get healed up. Nope, not Pokemon Box. Got them pewter crunchies, man. I like them. And I think I'm going to lead off with Nine Tails for a little bit. Just because Polyrath's getting a little bit too tough. Oh, there's Archer. You. What's up? What is it, Mr. Archer? You know that kid? Yo, what's up? Is that Voltsy? You know that old guy? 
So you're a fool enough to get in our way, is that it? What brave little boys? Wait, are they the ones who are getting in our way? Not even. Mr. Archer's saying you're in his way, alright? You want to go home in tears or what? Calm yourself. I'll teach these children a good lesson. Ooh, bring it on, Archer. Nice double battle. Okay. Electrode and... Muck. Alright, we're taking the muck out first because you saw... You know what happens in Koga's gym. It ain't good. Oh, you got a nice Cubone. Do you think that's the Cubone that was, um... You know, in the story on Lavender Tower? It'd be nice if our rival took it. Let's just go for a nice Ice Beam. Plus, we've got to get rid of Muck because if it hits us with a Poison type, we are going to probably die real quick. And Self-Destruct? Okay. It's going to hurt. But we eat that up, actually, pretty well. Damn, son. Sucks to be you. Good, our rival is attacking Muck as well. Oh, Weezing, double poison, this is bad. I'm gonna need to switch out because the Sludge Bomb will just destroy me. So let's go into Meltan actually, because if they both go for a poison move thinking they can kill me with super effective moves, how about we go to a type that doesn't get affected by uh, poison? Let's go, little Meltan! Ah, oh, it's so cute! Doesn't affect me, and oh, Toxic with Cubone. We haven't got really good moves on Meltan either at the moment. He doesn't learn much. But nice boomerang. Hit two times, great. Alright, what can we go for? Thunder Shock! It ain't gonna do much, but it's something at least. Because they can't hurt Meltan. I'd, I'd take that back. They can, they can definitely hurt Meltan, especially with a flamethrower. Did not see that coming. Oh no. That's what I was scared of. Please, Cubone. You've got to hit the muck. You've got to hit the muck. Yes. Oh man, when Minimize comes in, I can't, I can't hit a Pokemon. My luck with Minimize is so bad. Whew. Okay. Hey, Nine Towers 39. I'm almost level 40 now. Is she out? Has she got one more Pokemon? Because I kind of want to try Dragonair a little bit. Or Raticate, okay. Alright, I want to take out the Raticate so we can just have a uh, two on one. Let's see if they don't double attack me though. Sucker Punch. Ouch. Flamethrower on the Cubone, okay. Live it. Nice. Oh, focus energy? Why would you focus energy? Does, it's totally useless. You're gonna die by your poison. Oh, Cubone. Disappointment. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, Pidgeot, nice. Next time we battle our rival, which I don't know when it will be. He's going to be pretty tough. Right, my Dragon Tail should take out the Raticate. And then hopefully you can do some work against the... Oh, no, you're going to air slash it. No! Oh, they double attacked me. I just want to turn up my Dragon Air, man. Why you got to be so mean? Uh, let's just go... Let's go to Pikachu. Show me who's boss. I should have gone to Arcanine because we heat waved him, take them both out. Uh, that's okay though. Just go Thunderbolt, take out that Weezing. Oh, Protect, no! Oh, dude. At least you took out the Raticate. That's a two on one, we all good. Right, Thunderbolt. Whew. Right, go on, Pidgeot. Finish it off. Oh, you missed, and the Sludge Bomb comes and hits you, and you get poisoned. That's what you get. 
You miss your moves, you get punished. If you landed it, that wheezing gets taken out, you don't get poisoned and you don't get hit. Uh, let's go zippy zap, finish off the wheezing. Please don't protect, please don't protect. He's gonna protect, I know he is. Oh, he didn't. Nice. Honestly, I thought that protector was gonna come in. <laughs> Alright. Last Pokemon, what you got, Archer? Oh, Roost, okay. That poison still does a bit of damage. And Golbat, oh, nice Pokemon for us to beat. Zippy Zap. Zapping it back into a Zoop, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Destroying here. Boom. That HP just, just dropping so fast. Blink of an eye. God, again? What? <laughs> Put quite a bit of money there. That was nice. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that let you beat me last time. I understand now. I'll we'll be more careful about you two. Oh, out of the way. Ow. She legit just hit him. Hey, look. That grunt dropped something. Ooh. Card key. Brilliant. Okay, so now we can go pretty much wherever we want. Right? Uh, get this. I should battle these dudes, but I kind of just want to uh, find the healing station first. We'll walk around though, see what we can get. Lots of items to be found. Flash cannon, nice. You can hit it to Meltdown, most likely. I, f I have a feeling the healing station or the bed is just like in this next room here. Or not. I am totally remembering wrong. Have I been this way? No, I haven't. Okay, I thought I have. If you get in our way, then you're really being our way. <laughs> okay, good to know. Alright. Got Haunter. That is going to be super easy for us to beat. We can just Dark Pulse it. Should outspeed it. And if we don't kill it, hopefully we can flinch it. I mean, we would outspeed it if it didn't suck a punch, but... Oh, look at that Dark Pulse and all that damage. I give up. You should. <laughs> Alright, anything in here? Oh, grab that item. X special defense, sweet. I still don't ever use these like X defenses or X attacks. I, I never use anything like that. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys ever use like X stuff? Because I don't know. I, just, I feel like they're kind of useless sometimes. It's just a turn to up your stats, then you just end up attacking. You'll be fine. All right. So we got Max Lure. Oh, okay. Sup? I support Team Rocket more than I support Silphco. You traitor. You know what we do with traitors, right? Jose, you're gonna get destroyed. Alright, gonna go for a nice ice beam, I think is the best thing here. Please don't go for a nice sludge bomb and kill me. Oh, we froze it as well! Oh, nice! Get wrecked, boy! I was about to say, I want to try and get like my whole team to level 40, that'll be nice, but... I think Meltan and Dragonair is going to be the exception, but the rest of the team we can definitely do it. And then Magma, okay, uh... Oh, we're fully healed now after that double battle? Nice! Did not realise that! That is awesome. I didn't fight a few guys because I thought we're going to be weak, but being fully healed makes everything a lot better. Oh, ho, ho, let's go. You really got me. I did. 
Sup, what are you doing? Oh, what's going on? First that kid who was annoyingly strong and now you? Why are, all, why, why are kids allowed in here? <laughs> I don't know, man. Get better security? I uh, can't do anything with that. Got two rooms. I want to see what's in this one first. Oh, okay, this is the way to go, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's far enough. Back for round two? What, you again? Me again. As many times as it takes. I will not let you reach the boss. <laughs> what was that? Reach the boss? Faulty, do you think? He's right up ahead. So the boss of Team Rocket is right here in this building. That makes things easier then. Go, Faulty. This is our best chance to beat that boss. Oh man, you're dealing with me. Oh, seen a bit. <laughs> You hold him off for as long as it takes. I need to go do some more exploring and hopefully get some more items. I want to see what's down here. Oh. Hey, okay, there you go. I know there's a nurse joy around here somewhere. Yeah, we've got this Pokeball. Got a revive sweet. Might as well get healed up, get some PP back while we're at it. Although, yeah, let's take this down. I've been in there? Um, yeah, it's got the items. It's good to just open the doors. Right, should we go take on Giovanni then, I think? Uh, let's try and avoid you. Perfect timing. Still lean up on nine tails, we can just like. Ice Beam Giovanni's team and all be good. Well, most of his team. Can't. We can Ice Beam the Persian and stuff, but won't do as much as the, the ride. Probably done now. What's up, guys? I'm back again. Just coming through. Don't mind me. Oh, there they are. Hold it right there, twerp. Oh, I forgot about Jesse and James. Our boss is in a meeting. You better not disturb him. Okay. I kind of wish like Jesse and James had their own like sort of intro sequence like this. Make them a bit more unique, but I mean, it's got their own uniform still. All right, wheezing in our buck. It's gonna be easy. All right, let's go for a ice beam and then a flamethrower. Double attack the wheezing. They usually double attack me, so I'm gonna double attack them. See if we can take him out first go. Go on, Ice Beam. Finish it off. Nice. One down, one more to go. And we're so close to 40. Please, Arbuck, whatever you do, do not kill my, uh, my Ninetales. Polyrath 42, nice. Dragon F 33, everyone's growing a level. Meltdown 35, everyone's growing a level. Whew. And glare? That's fine. Who are you glaring? The nine tails? Big mistake. Alright. Uh, maybe we can try our luck. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna ice shard. I'm not sure if there's enough damage, but if we can do it, then it'll be really cool. Because that way, that Arbok won't be able to hurt us, because obviously, priority move. Go on. Go on, Arcanine. Flamethrower, finish it off. No, you're so close. And then you're gonna glare me, but I shot might be able to finish it off. It's kinda of close. If only our uh, Arcanine had extreme speed. Be so nice. Go on, go on, go on, finish it off. Yes! No damage. Just gotta get rid of the paralysis now and then we're all good. And we hit 40. As always. Ah, oh, I hate kids. <laughs> Just like always. Looks like Team Rocket blasting off again. <laughs> Alright, oh, Pikachu wants to talk to us. <laughs> oh, buddy. You go, Pikachu. Right, I uh, need to get rid of that paralysis, though. Got one paralyzed heal, one full heal.
Alright, we're looking good. Let's go and destroy Giovanni. And then we should get the Master Ball. Sup? Sorry to crash the party, boys. And lady. Now, now, Mr. President. I hope you're not thinking of lying to me. The Master Ball. You successfully created one, didn't you? Do you think it's that easy to make? Now that I know who you really are, there's no way I want to make a little thing like that. Not for someone like you. How dare you! Then give up any thought of forcing us to create lots of powerful Pokemon for you. Using stolen research to create Pokemon? That's not something Sylph should ever do. We're a deal. You agree to this. You're a smart man. I'm sure you can imagine what will happen to your people if you say no to me now. Oh. Yo, what's up? Ah, young Voltsy. So we meet again. The President of Sylph and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of pain. You said that last time and I absolutely destroyed you. And you look like you're going to cry after I beat you, so... Let's see if I can try and make you cry again. <laughs> Alright, Persian, okay. So he's got the same Pokemon as before. It'll be Persian... Rhyhorn? No, yeah, Persian Rhyhorn last time. He's got an extra Pokemon here. Probably going to be a... Kangaskhan, if I had to guess. Okay. Let's try an Ice Beam. What's how much damage that does compared to Dazzling Gleam? Woo! Okay. Then Ice Shard can finish it off. Get that priority moving. Alright, two Pokemon left. Right horn, okay, so good. Ice beam! Ain't no way right horn's gonna live this ice beam. Told ya. Get absolutely melted, son. Oh, I guess frozen, son. <laughs> and Nidoqueen, queen, okay. Now 39, let's go for ice beam again. Probably a bit careful because if it lives and the poison move comes in, it's gonna hurt. Oh, we froze it! Oh, Giovanni! Poor, poor Giovanni, get absolutely shredded, son! Come on, that shredded wheat! Eat you up for breakfast! Whew! Not today! Ah, oh, I lost again? Got a lot of money for that, 6,000, nice. Blast! I have little choice, it seems. I will relinquish Sylph for now. But Team Rocket will never fall. Faulty, never forget. All Pokemon exist for Team Rocket's use. I may leave you now, but we will meet again. Good. Yo, what's up, Mr. Pre- Oh, look at that picture of Moltres. Nice picture. Oh, dear boy. Thank you for saving us here at Sylph. Mahaha, <laughs> I suppose that's so. It wasn't just you, it was that wonderful partner of yours too. Actually, it was more Ninetales, but I'll never forget how you saved us in our moment of peril. I have to thank you in some way, and I'm quite magnanimous, so I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. And we got the Master Ball. Alright. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype, the Master Ball. We'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Truthfully, we've only succeeded in making just the one. So you should probably be quiet about using it. Alright, is that a picture of Zapdos there? Yeah. I'm guessing you have a picture of um, Articuno on the left. You got, you got a picture of Moltres, then Moltres, and then Zapdos. Oh no, that's Articuno. My bad. That is Articuno. This is the background I was looking at. Yeah. I thought the uh, the blue was the sea for a second, but no, yeah, I can, I can, that's Articuno 100%. Look at the other photos, that's definitely um, Ecratique on the top left. The middle one, I can't tell. The bottom left, I can't tell, but that's, that's really cool. I like all these little paintings, they look so nice. I bet, like, you know, Game Freak could make a killer if they sold some of these, like, paintings as posters. I mean, I'd buy some 100%. Alright, now that all Team Rocket are gone, I, I feel like we missed some areas, so I want to quickly just. Make sure we 
grabbed everything. If I start from the top, I'll clear each room on the way down. Just gotta make sure we don't go too high. Oh wow, we actually can go quite high. I thought there's only a few floors, but... Oh wow, it just keeps going. Oh my goodness, you know what? I'm just gonna do this off screen, because there is a lot of floors. <laughs> 11 floors! Oh my goodness, I've got 11 floors to explore and see if we can um, get any missed items. <laughs> okay. So, let's get out of here. Seems like everything's back to normal. And you know what's next? To take on Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Forza, you did it! You beat Giovanni, right? That archer guy made a run for it. So I chased them all the way out of here, and then... Well, the Team Rocket Grons run right out of Saffron City too. I guess we're lucky you're such a strong trainer, Voltsy. To be honest, I was a little scared. Like, what, what would have happened to us if it turned out the bad guys were the strongest, you know? But you and me, Voltsy, we really managed to save Sylph. Nobody will have to go through that or what Cubone went through ever again. Alright, now that everything's back to normal, I guess it's time for the next Pokemon Gym. Have you been to the Saffron City Gym already, Voltsy? How many badges have you got? That many, huh? Wow. Maybe we'll both uh, make it all the way to the Pokemon League. Let's both give it our best shot. See ya. Alright, see ya. Alright, looking pretty good. And with that, I've... Ooh, look at Porygon, just chilling. Did you get rid of those Team Rocket um, Fogs? Thank you so much. Now, what do you say? Do you want to try your hand at raising a Pokemon crate by Sylph? Oh. So if I got to that Porygon guy inside the building, I think we would have probably got the Porygon for free, but you can get it here as well, so that's... It's pretty good. Yeah, thank you, dude. So, with that, I'm going to end this part here. Next episode, we will be taking on Sabrina the Teenage Witch, then making our way to Cinnabar Island. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Peace.